it's crafts by cream here and today i'm super excited to show you how to make two simple and adorable diy room decor and holiday gift ideas to be more specific i'll be showing you how to make a whiteboard and chalkboard both made out of frames yes they're incredibly inexpensive and easy to make and they will look amazing in absolutely any room I also really like it because it's personalized. You can make it the colors of your room, you can make it your favorite color. Also, since the holidays are coming up, they would be a great idea to gift to your friends, your family, even your teachers, or even yourself. Not gonna lie, they're kinda cute. I'm sure that whoever you'll make it for will absolutely love it. And before we begin, I just wanted to say happy holidays to each and every one of you, whether you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and I'm sure there are plenty of other holidays out there. I just hope you have a great time with your friends and family. And yeah, without any further talking, let's just dive straight into this video. You'll be needing a frame of any sort. It can be big, small, just use whatever you have at home. This is just a super cute and small frame that I found laying around at my house. Any scrapbook paper or paper that has designs on it, you can also print some designs that you like online or even use regular white paper or construction paper. A pen or a pencil to use while tracing. You'll also need some scissors, but make sure they're safety scissors because safety first. And, of course, some whiteboard markers so you can actually use this cute and handy dandy DIY. Of course, once again you'll be needing a frame of any size and sort. Next, you'll be needing some chalkboard paint. You can also use chalkboard stickers or anything else you can use to make a surface chalkboard. If you're using chalkboard paint like me, you'll be needing some paper and a paintbrush. Some safety scissors, once again. And finally, a glue stick. Now, here comes the fun part. If you want to decorate the actual frame, you are more than welcome to. You can use paint, glitter, stickers, whatever your heart desires to really personalize and bedazzle it. Perfect for you or whoever you're going to make it for. First, I'll be showing you how to make the whiteboard. To begin, Simply turn your frame around and begin assembling it. Now set those pieces aside and trace the glass on the back of the scrapbook paper using the pen. It doesn't have to be perfect at all and be careful when handling this glass. By tracing it on the back, none of the pen marks will show in the final product. Next, cut the piece of paper out. Once you have done that, you're practically done. Yep, it's that simple. All you have to do is reassemble your frame again. If you want, you can even clean the glass to have a nice surface for your whiteboard. So, put the glass in first, put your paper face down, then place any other components of the frame, and finally, the back piece to finish it all off. And now for the big reveal. Ta-da! You can use this to write inspirational quotes every day or even write a to-do list. The possibilities are endless. Next, on to the chalkboard. We're going to begin by dissembling the frame, just like we did for the whiteboard. The steps are pretty similar except for a few differences. If you want to decorate your frame, do that right now so none of the paint or the decorations gets on the actual chalkboard. Feel free to personalize it and make it unique to yourself. Ta-da! Look at my magic! Here, I just added some red paint and glitter to give it a really cute and festive look. These are just a few ideas of what you can do for your frame. Set the frame aside to dry, and while, the, while it is drying, cut out a piece of paper that is roughly the size of the frame's glass. Once again, it doesn't have to be exact. If you're using chalkboard paint like moi, all you have to do is paint this piece of paper. Make sure to wash your brushes after use, and you might even have to paint more than one layer to ensure that the chalkboard is actually on the paper. However, if you are using chalkboard stickers, all you have to do is cut out a piece the size of the glass and stick it on there, and you are done. Now, the good thing about chalkboard paint is that it dries super fast, 
which means you don't have to waste a lot of time waiting. Once the paper is all painted and dry, all you have to do is glue this baby onto this glass. Make sure you apply enough glue so that there are no creases and it is all nice and smooth. Trim off the excess paper along the sides so that the glass can fit comfortably into the frame. Our last step, yay, is to assemble our frame. Put your glass with the paper glued on top in first, like so. Now add your other components to your frame. You don't have to add any paper in though, since the, pa the chalkboard paper is glued on top. And here is your very own chalkboard frame. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Haha, <laughs> look at my sucky heart. Anyways, if this video made you smile, please give it a big thumbs up because it'll make me smile as well. And if you like what you're seeing, you should definitely check out my channel because I have tons of other videos you'll enjoy. And maybe you could subscribe. It means the world to me. While you're at it, don't forget to comment down below what your favorite holiday is. One more thing, if you post your creations on Instagram, feel free to share them with me using the hashtag ggcraftsbyme and tag me in the picture at craftsbycream. All my other social media links will be down in the description box below as well. Oh, and if you want to learn how to make this adorable little Christmas tree, I'll link it on the video and in the description too. Once again, thanks for watching and as always, see you in my next video.